Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Get out of here before you get hurt. I'm Regner. You want anything? Talk to Edla. She's in charge. Every little bit helps. So what do you know of Jurunder? Arnora and Jurunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was gonna skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Farewell. Well, let's go see what she has to say about that. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm upset? Yep. Here, have some money, it'll cheer you up. What's this all about, Jurander? I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. I don't really care. I just want your amulets. <laughs> it's your stolen gold? I know what you've heard, all about Jurunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Are you in or are you out? Okay, keep talking, I'm in. Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. Oh, no. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. What does this have to do with me? Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food. But Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it. What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. He's not likely to just come out and tell you, so get creative. Creative, you say? Y'all get creative. Let's see what I got here. What's this one? criminal then pay with stop right there criminal scum nobody breaks the law on my watch I'm confiscating your stolen goods now pay your fine or it's off to jail oh fine I'll go to jail hope you rot criminal scum
I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Torellius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. I don't know who you... Nice try. I've committed a crime and been sent to jail. Perhaps now I can convince Jurunder to tell me about the stolen gold. By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of Changes theirs. Changes his mind. So tell me about the stolen gold. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem and make some money for yourself in the process. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. Once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. What did Arnora do to you? You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Ah, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores, 10 gold here, 25 there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knocked them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? What are you getting at? I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet she always wears. Show that to me, and the money is yours. Finally, a chance for revenge. Hmm. You've got nothing to lose, so why not just tell me and save us both a heap of trouble? Yeah, sure. And I suppose I just end up rotting while you... What if I... broke out? Then I wouldn't lose any points. You spend it all? <laughs> Forget it. Open You're sesame. gonna end up rotting here anyway, you idiot. Look, you horse's ass. I never trusted city guardsmen. Never. So I'm definitely not gonna start trusting you, Torellius. Suit yourself. Enjoy your stay. I got a good invisibility spell somewhere. You know what? I could just murder everyone. Yeah, that's what I'll do.
Perfect. It's all over, lawbreaker. That's too... okay. Perfect. So, were you able to find out about the gold or not? How could you stand sharing a- I found out about the stolen gold. So he told you another one of his tall tales. I hope you didn't believe him. What's he got in store for me? He sent you to kill me, is that it? What if there was another way? What if he thought I was dead, but I wasn't? Then he'd tell you the location of the gold. What did he need as proof? Your amulet. That fetcher. He knows this is the only heirloom I have left from my family. Only he would stoop so low. Look, I know you could just kill me where I stand. But what if I gave you the amulet and you bring it to him? Then he'd say where the gold stashed. You kill me here and now. And as far as the town guard is concerned, it's a crime. So you make your choice. You want to do it my way, or Jorunda's? Hmm. We'll do it your way. I knew you'd make the smarter decision. Good. Here's the key to the chest by my bed. Inside you'll find the amulet Jorunda wants. Take my amulet to him. Get the gold and bring half of it back here to me. If you don't come back, I'll let the guards in on our plan. You'll be hunted all over Cyrodiil. You don't want that, do you? I don't think so. Good luck. I warn you, don't cross me. Threatening a member of the Dark Brotherhood? Now that's not smart. Hmm. Let's retry this. <laughs> So, we look. I knew you'd make the take. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do it Jurunder's way, and maybe then I'll get both amulets. So, we look. You. Let's do it Jurunder's way. Then prepare for the fight of your life. If I fall, you'll just end up rotting in jail with Jurunda. Either way, no gold for you. Too bad. <laughs> I've slain Ornora. I should take the amulet off her body and bring it to Jurunda. Hopefully this way I can complete the quest. It's stupid because if you get the amulet here, then if you get the amulet here, then kill Arnora and get her amulet, then the quest stops because it says, oh, 
quests can't be completed when one of the main quest characters died. That's bullshit. And I get both amulets. So sweet. Wonder if there's a glitch to get the Amulet of Kings. Like you can wear it. I know there used to be a, a bug that uh, the Spell Drinker amulet would look like the Amulet of Kings. I think that's patched now. I didn't do that. There's no problem, is there? I want to visit a prisoner. What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. I could just go in there, break out, and kill you all again. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Why not? Show me the proof. Here it is. Two amulets? One of them must be a fake. Clever girl. Taught her everything I know. Good thing you saw through her ruse. So she's dead, eh? Ha ha! Finally! Finally someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> good, good. Well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the North Gate. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. Yeah, I'll just kill them all if they come after me. No touching the locks. I'm gonna go no touch every single lock locks. because of that guy. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Prisoners may not accept gifts. You're all Don't free. Get too close to the prisoners. <laughs> no touching the locks. And with Tyrellius dead, I think I should be able to just grab my gold. Go. Unless somehow he comes back to life. He came back to life. It is oblivion we're talking about. I found the treasure that Jurender concealed outside the walls of Bruma. <laughs> Nothing really worth uh, going to jail for, but okay.
Alright, you know that I got those amulets. Let's go do this quest here. I've never seen a kid in oblivion before. Yeah. For me, thanks. Do you know a Darji? She lives on the west side of town. She is fond of the Three Sisters Lodge in the evening, but takes her midday meal at the Five Claws. Blessings of a new upon Blessings of Padme again. <laughs> Invisible gear. Why does the prey approach me? Thank you. How kind. So, what's this about your stolen ring? Yes. A filthy Argonian stole my precious ring. It was a gift from my mate. It has sentimental value. I will pay well. The stupid lizard hunts with the name Amusai. Find him, find my ring. Make him suffer. Kill him and I will be pleased. Do I really have to say this, though? Uh. The guild frowns on killing, sadly. Stupid guild rules. I know, eh? He is only an Argonian. He is less than human and much <laughs> less than Khajiit. <laughs> if you must spare him, at least make him suffer. Swift hunting. All right, let's go track down Amuse. How low he's fallen. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. I already gave you a bunch of money. The poor bugger was arrested. Seems he tried to swindle the Countess. He's rotting in a cell in the castle dungeon now. It's common knowledge that the jailers can be bribed to allow visitors to see prisoners. Blessings of a new. I guess they've restocked their guard population. Yes. See, he even replied. Ah, uh, 
What do you want? For me, thanks. How'd you end up in Leowin? The Thieves Guild refused to take me, so I came here. Leowin is my home. It is where I was raised. <sighs> I went to the Imperial City in hopes of joining the Thieves Guild. Now, I am forced to live as a freelance thief. What do you know about Adarji's ring? Why should I tell you where it is? Here I sit in Leowin's dungeon while you are free. What will you do for Amusai if I tell you? What if I give you a lockpick? You do that for me? Maybe you guild types aren't so bad after all. Okay, it's a deal. Give me a lockpick and I'll tell you about the ring. Here, take this lockpick. Sunlit freedom. Yes, I stole that ring from Adaji. When I went to sell it, the fence told me I was too hot for him. He showed me an inscription on the inside to Alessia. That had to be the Countess of Leowin. The damn ring was stolen property. Well, I figured I would ransom it back to the Countess, except she tricked me. I was arrested for theft, and she kept the ring. Uh, the Countess rarely leaves the castle. Good luck getting it back. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I'll do you one better there, buddy. There. Motherfucker. <laughs> you look lost. Yes, I'm lost. I can't find my way. So tiresome. Let's find out more about that ring. What do you know about the recovered Caro family ring? So, Alessia Caro has recovered her ring. And now you want to know where she keeps it so you can steal it back. My pockets are a little light at the moment, if you know what I mean. Bro, as if. I can spare ten gold coins. I don't know where she keeps the ring, but I know who does. Talk to Ledara Matril. The Countess's handmaid. She is dinner at the castle at the eighth bell. You may have to sweet talk her, but she knows all about Alessia Caro's habits and schedule. You should know that there are other secrets in that castle. What secrets? I've heard of a hidden torture chamber. They say that Count Marius interrogates Argonian immigrants from Black Marsh. The servants whisper that the Argonians are dragged into the basement and never seen again. You should stay out of there, just in case. Blessings of Stemdar upon me. I think that's exactly where I'm gonna go.
say. And I think I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe. Peace.